Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Brian. And today we got some good Godzilla news. They're going to be making a new Godzilla movie. Well, of course they are. They're always going to be making Godzilla movies. I don't think that's ever going away. But it is from the Godzilla Minus One director, Takashi Yamazaki. And if you have not seen Godzilla Minus One, it is breathtakingly beautiful. Like, it is just so well done, and it's incredible. And when you look at the budget for that and that movie, and you look at what's coming out of Hollywood, you're like, your first question is going to be, where's the money going? I mean, seriously. It it proves you don't have to spend half a million dollars to make a good movie. This was such a well done movie. I loved it. It was so good. I mean, it felt real. So, when they announced that, yeah, we're going to make a follow-up to Godzilla Minus One, you know, we kind of got... Godzilla doesn't really have a straightforward timeline in its lore. I mean, they kind of... Okay, you want to make Godzilla moves? Okay, you can take it, and they go this way. And then someone else, okay, we want to make Godzilla moves. Okay, you can take it, and they go this way. And they go this way. And so... There's a lot of lore that overlaps and is canon. There's a lot of stuff that's just bizarre and weird. I mean, Godzilla's been around since basically media has been around. Since Japan started making movies. I mean, and it was just kind of announced casually that, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing this. And the director states that he thinks that another monster needs to be involved. And he is thinking of using... Oh, didn't do it. Uh, Hetera. And I watched it. And let's, let's rewatch it. Because I did not. This is not one of the main monsters that I can recall. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one. But I didn't. You know. Let's just watch it. The old Godzilla movies were just, they were just great. <laughs> They're just so funny and fun. But yeah, I mean, so we got that and we've got so many other things doing that. But with with Hetera, it's, it's an unusual choice because it's not the first one everyone picks. He's a basically, Hetera is basically a flying stingray or stingray-like creature. Which is weird and cool. Because you're like, oh. And he's like, it's very cutting edge, Kaiju. And I think it's the type of visual expression we could do with technology and how far it came today. Imagine how it would move, I think would make it really cool. So it's not going to... So what they did with Godzilla Minus One, they made it look very realistic, real world. And fit into the visualization that they were shooting in, the cinematography. So it looked real good, not just like, oh, that's definitely... CGI. They really made an effort to make it look like it fit in. And with this, with with the technology, to make it more, uh, make his body more flowing, kind of just like, like you would with like a stingray or a manta ray or something like that. I mean, that's just basically kind of what that looks like. And I was like, I don't remember this monster, but I'm, I'm here for it. Because it's not one we've seen. I mean, we've seen Mothra... So many times. Don't get me wrong. Mothra's cool. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, yay, let's let's bring in one of these kaijus that hasn't been done a hundred times. Let's take that, you know, something we haven't seen in 50 years. Let's do that. Absolutely. I'm here for it. So, I know it's a short video and it's just one of those. I'm just kind of like, yay, another Godzilla movie by the Godzilla Minus One director. And... That has me just happy as can be because absolutely 100% it was such a good movie. And anything, if he continues it like he did the first one, 
it's going to be fantastic. It will be worth watching. And I, and I will actually watch this one in the theater. I wasn't sure about it. You know, I was like, okay, another Godzilla. I'll wait till it comes to streaming. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I wish I saw this in the theater. That was my big regret. It's like, oh, I wish I would have seen this in the theater. When this comes out, don't know anything. They're just talking about it, that they're, they're going to start producing it and getting it on. But we don't know when it sees. Probably 2026 at the earliest. But I will be there in the theaters ready to have fun with a new Godzilla movie. So until next time, my friends, as always, I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it.